Dora the Explorer. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jimmy Skosana. If you are not subscribed, click the red button down below. So I've been living in Korea for one year and so far I've been loving it and I've been honestly loving it. So today I'm going to talk about five things I like about Korea and five things I don't appreciate about Korea. Okay, so number one, um, five things I like about Korea. The first one, I think you've heard this everywhere but it is the fast Wi-Fi everywhere. Like, everywhere you go, the internet is on the go. Look at how long this banana is. I don't think I've ever seen a banana this long. And a sweet too. I'm really hungry. So, the second thing I enjoy about Korea, and if you're from South Africa, you will definitely understand, but there's no load shedding. Or as American call, Americans call it, power cuts. In South Africa, at the moment, I think there is a power cut every day, twice a day. The ghetto. I'm in the ghetto. Ra -ta -ta -ta. I can't believe that used to be my life. When I think about going back home permanently, I am really serious. No electricity twice a day. And when I go back home, obviously I'm thinking about opening any business. And I'm like, what am I going to, how do you become rich when you can't like use a computer twice a day? Your meat is forever defrosting freezing defrosting freezing it's like i just i really don't no the third thing that i like about korea personally i've had more financial freedom like and financial freedom for me was being able to pay my, my debts back at home that alone when i was back at home and i was looking at these numbers and the interest just increasing i was like i was i was a dreamer still am but i was just like how am i going to get over this like how am i going to pay for all these things support myself and my family and like still be young and happy and explore things like number four uh the fourth thing i like about korea is the skin care in this country it's honestly it's it like um the fifth thing i like about korea is the fast delivery guys i don't know if you guys saw my <laughs> epic fail fashion over haul but i ordered things on tuesday wait what day is it today today is friday yeah i finalized my order on sunday i remember because i didn't go anywhere i was like i need to do this and it arrived yesterday which is thursday so in south africa from the united states of america it will take at least two weeks or a week like a full week like seven days for anything that is international to arrive to you now we're gonna talk about the five things that i like about korea first thing i don't like about korea and this is not because of korea it's because like it's like not being able to like understand and being understood has been one of the most frustrating things i've come to realize like I really need to learn the language and it's all because of me obviously but also you know like I don't have the motivation sometimes to study and now because I moved I left all the Korean books in my old school because they were not mine and I can't just like take them with me so I have to get my own study material and I feel like just relying on YouTube girl when I see recommended videos for you it's late so I need to get like 
books actually i just remembered now as i'm talking about it you can see my priorities are not straight so i i do feel like i do need to put more effort into learning um korean number two oh everybody has complained about this and you know what i didn't really grasp it when i was back home and watching videos no no Woo! i'm gonna look to see if I can find an actual RGC online spitting, I'm sure there's a foreigner somewhere who made an animation or like has actually been like talented enough to capture one of the natives spitting because I just, wow. I personally witnessed it more with like older men. And not only is it like, just like a spit, it's like a and then spit <laughs> and so the gross thing about it is that in the winter when it's cold enough for water to freeze yeah that also freezes so sometimes you see multicolored the third thing i hate about korea the staring it's a lot, child. Mm -mm, stop it. Mm -mm. It's a lot, man. Ooh, girl, I know. Sometimes I'm like, damn, where is she from? Looking at myself. But like being looked at, you know the gaze. There's, there's a looking at a person and there's a gaze. The gaze is a negotiate. It's a negating way of looking at a person but whatever you do look back this girl told me she winks <laughs> she said she winks and they just like get ruffled like i actually want to try that and just see what happens just for fun all right number four weird smells you probably already heard this as well but there's a weird smell in my bathroom the weirdest thing Dongtan is a new town relatively new i think it was built after 2012 so apparently what makes like korea smell i think is the the dumping landfills so because it hasn't been around for so long there's less there's been less waste um dumped in the town however in my bathroom I don't know, and it's not because of me. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? For me. Well, it was fucking one of yes. Disgusting. Like, I know you're probably like, it's your own shit. Like, clean up your shit. No, it's not. Like, I did because I, I wanted to see what's going on. I am going to get a diffuser. So, the weird smells are unexpected. They come from all sorts of places. I, there's one in my bathroom. This is the first time I've, I've experienced one in my personal space. They're usually outside because I told you, I told you it's like landfills where people dump, like, waste. But, like, the, like... They are so potent and pungent, like, and it claps you across the face, you know, you're like, Shit! I'm so, so stinky, I'm tasting it! <laughs> I'm sorry, Stop. actually. It's a lot. The fifth thing, I actually made a video about it, uh, plus size clothing is nowhere to be found since, especially bras, forget. Yes, in, in Korea, there's a trend right now of wearing, like, baggy clothes so i have been able to find like a skirt or two and i'm like okay let's do this uh or dresses but like because they were made for smaller bodies to look or they were, like they were made for smaller bodies with the concept of oversized i feel like they look very weird on me when i wear them as the right size not as an oversized dress you know what i mean so 
you might find things that fit you but they're not always going to be to your taste that even finding bra sizes online is like crazy when i tell you guys i bought a measuring tape i measured myself i measured my boobs and i bought according to the measurements that they show you on size guide online and i was still lied to you i was still lied to and misled so Good luck. Honestly, bring your own plus size clothing. Bring like your staples, like jeans are staples, pants are staples, especially if you have a big bum and a small waist. I cannot, I cannot emphasize this enough. Like even in my country, I struggled to find, but I, I wear high-waisted everything because there's no way, guys. I'm never gonna be able to wear you know those pants when girls are wearing pants and you're like and they still bend and you can't see their crack but they look like they're so close to their bum and i'm like yo what kind of bum is this like <laughs> i really do wish i had it because there's no point in carrying around your bum that you can't put anywhere you can't put it on chairs you can't <laughs> You can't put it in pants. <laughs> you literally sometimes can't put it on rides if it's that big. It's pointless. It's not even fun. I'm not even joking. Like I don't get I don't there's nothing I don't get like Brazilian butt lifts confused. 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 Like if I could make my butt a little bit smaller. I would, I'd say even girls who are skinny, I've seen Megan Boyd's video talking about like how the clothing is, is, is cut differently, it's tailored differently, so the hips are not as wide as us, so even smaller girls with curves are going to have a little bit of a struggle, like the, the, the pants won't fit you just right, like, you know, so pants, bras, underwear, um, foundation, those things bring with you back from home. But yeah, so that's all for today. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. Anyway, thank you so much. Please subscribe to watch more videos. Um, I am trying to, you know, record more, film more, be more comfortable in front of the camera. That's the only reason I take a three month hiatus. Bye.